Asanteni sana, asanteni sana. Tafadhali tuketi chini jameni. Asanteni sana. Eh, hey, naona kuna dunia. Baka kule nyuma. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu mnisalimie hata nyinyi. Ala, asanteni sana. Thank you. Asanteni sana. Um, mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mawaziri mlio hapa makatibu um, mwenyekiti wa washirika wenye viti wa washirika mbalimbali eh, cooperators wote na membership ndugu wa Kenya hamjambo hamjambo tena kwanza wacha nichukue nafasi hii Nimesikia wengi wenu mmetoka mbali nje ya Nairobi karibuni sana katika mji wetu mkuu wa Nairobi wale mmetoka mbali na nimefurahi sana wakati niliambiwa huu mkutano itaanza saa mbili nilikuwa nashangaa vile itaanza saa mbili na watu wametoka mbali lakini naona kweli nyinyi mko chonjo sana nataka niseme pongezi karibuni sana Nairobi na wale mmetoka nje Nairobi magari ni mingi. Kwa hivyo na kukross barabara lazima uangalie kulia na kushoto. <laughs> mimi mimi sitaki kusikia mtu aligongwa na pikipiki ama na na gari. Otherwise mimi nawakaribisha nyinyi nyote na ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kwa siku hii ya kwanza kukutana na nyinyi wananchi wa bidii kutoka mashirika zetu ni washukuru sana kwa kura zenu najua watu wengi hapa walitupatia kura zao nasema asante sana na vile vile ni wahakikishie ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya sisi wote tutafanya kazi pamoja na mimi nitawahuzisha na kuwaunganisha wananchi wote na viongozi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya waliochaguliwa kutoka vyama zote ili tuweze kutembea pamoja kama taifa mimi naelewa ya kwamba cooperative movement ni movement ambayo inaleta watu pamoja na tukiwa tunafuata huo mtindo hata na sisi tutatengeneza cooperative ya viongozi wote ili tuweze kushughulikia mambo ya wakenya kwa pamoja kwa sababu tunaelezwa ya kwamba umoja ni nini umoja ni nguvu distinguished guests good morning the bottom up economic transformation agenda outlines bold government commitment to undertake transformational interventions across various sectors for these interventions to be successful it is imperative for us to effectively overcome a number of critical challenges that have been defining the features of our socio-economic fabric for decades the first challenge is the informality of our economy most of our economic activity takes place in the informal sector which accounts for close to 10 million jobs and contributes a significant portion to our GDP as a result of this informality millions of productive people are denied affordable credit training and capacity building access to essential public amenities and the protection of the law in fact many operate on the margins of legality since their economic activities run frequently afoul of myriad regulations that they find difficult or costly to comply with owing to this informality many business operators and entrepreneurs in kenya are effectively excluded from the opportunities required by business to expand and become more competitive for this reason they are denied the economies of scale and remain sometimes too small to be viable let alone efficient this means 
that operators must work harder and take more risks just to stay afloat. The bottom-up economic agenda is a plan to transform the economy by enlisting all these millions of hardworking Kenyans into the struggle for shared prosperity, thereby ensuring not only that the national economy grows at a more rapid rate, but also that no one is left behind in the ensuing wealth creation. To address this serious challenge and set our economy upon a firm growth trajectory, we identified the cooperative movement as the most potent instrument of executing the required transformation across many sectors. And it is the primary reason why I decided that this administration will have a dedicated ministry for cooperatives and MSMEs. Nimesema hivi kwa lugha ya Kiswahili. Pale wakati tulizunguka katika taifa letu la Kenya, wananchi wengi uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya kuna watu karibu milioni tatu na nusu peke yao ambao wanapata mshahara ya kulipwa kwa sababu wanafanya kazi. Wananchi karibu milioni kumi na tano wako katika sekta hii. Biashara ndogo ndogo, biashara ya kujiajiri, kazi ya kujipatia eh, ajira. Hiyo ndio sehemu kubwa ya uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Statistics inatuonyesha 85% ya ajira katika taifa letu la Kenya zote ziko katika sekta hii ambayo ni sekta inayochanganya watu wa MSME, cooperatives na wale wengine wote. Na ni kwa sababu hiyo na umuhimu wa sekta ambayo inaitwa the informal sector na vile inachangia katika uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tulisema hawa watu wengi karibu milioni kumi na tano ambao wako katika hii sekta lazima tutengeneze wizara ambayo itashughulika na maslahi yao na mipango yao na ndio tumeweka waziri ambaye atasimamia cooperatives na MSMEs na kazi yake kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni ni kupanga hiyo kazi <laughs> ndio nasikia chairman hapa akisema tuko na waziri kila siku ni kwa sababu hana kazi nyingine kazi ni hiyo tu ya mambo ya cooperative zamani cooperative ilikuwa kati ya wizara zingine mara ilikuwa kwa wizara ya kilimo siku nyingine ilikuwa kwa wizara zingine lakini mwaka huu ama katika awamu hii ya serikali ya 2022 mpaka 2027 mimi nimesema ya kwamba tutaweka wizara ambayo itashughulika kwa sababu sekta hii ni ya muhimu sana katika uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Hakuna vile tutazalisha mali. Hakuna vile tunazalisha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya kama hatutashughulikia sekta ambayo ni ya MSME na sekta ya cooperative. And that is why we have a dedicated ministry whose business and responsibility it is to look after, to work with, build capacity, eliminate challenges in the cooperative and MSME sector so that we can use it as an instrument to drive the economy of our country. The government therefore looks to the cooperative movement as a fundamental transformational institution for several reasons. First of all, it provides a sustainable pathway towards the formalization of marginal and informal sector operators and entrepreneurs. Secondly, it performs the function of aggregation for small-scale producers and their resources, enabling them to leverage economies of scale that would otherwise be out of reach. Thirdly, cooperatives, especially SACOs, perform an essential financial inclusion function that expands the national penetration of savings and credit services while also making affordable credit available to people struggling to earn livelihoods at the bottom of the economic pyramid. 
na ndio hiyo ndio tumesema hii sekta hii ya cooperative ni ya muhimu kwa sababu inaleta wa eh, washirika pamoja na mkiona katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu tumeweka pesa nyingi katika value chains ambayo inawahuzisha washirika tumeweka pesa katika dairy and leather kwa sababu ni ya muhimu tuko na watu wengi ambao katika hiyo sekta tumeweka eh, pesa nyingi katika cotton and ginery hiyo value chain yote ya pamba tumeweka pesa ya kutosha tumeweka pesa katika value chain ya chai tumeweka pesa katika value chain ya kahawa tumeweka pesa katika value chain ya mambo ya fisheries kwa sababu tunaamini ya kwamba hizo sekta zote zikifaulu cooperative movement itafaulu na vile vile uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya itafaulu by all accounts all these are vital functions for the economy since no transformation at all is possible without it they are indispensable in facilitating upward social and economic mobility of large numbers of Kenyans driving rural wealth creation and accelerating poverty reduction the cooperative movement also harnesses our nation's defining collectivist social social cultural and political ethos as the engine of economic progress in numerous value chains including dairy coffee and tea maize and rice edible oils leather garments and textile artisanal mining, artisanal fishing and horticulture, as well as housing. On this Ushirika Day, therefore, I am immensely delighted to be here with you as we reflect on the fundamental social and economic role played by a sector that serves as this nation's silent but powerful engine of transformation. The success of cooperatives is a testament of the power of aggregation and inclusion in the true spirit of our national motto, Harambe. In recognition of the cooperative movement's immense contribution and the transformative opportunities that come with it, the government is committed to supporting the sector through institutional reform measures, including the harmonization of legislation governing various crops, with the aim of reducing the cost of production, thereby boosting production and competitiveness. For the dairy sector, investment in preservation and processing infrastructure are aimed at building up the country's capacity to export to our region as well as the broader African market. The modernization of the Kenya Cooperative Creameries will ensure its efficiency and enable it sustainably manage milk market glut and converting excess milk into powder, thereby stabilizing prices. Na wacha niseme hapo ya kwamba kwa sekta hiyo ya dairy tumekuwa na mjadala mkubwa kuhusu mambo ya maziwa. Na nilitangaza juzi ya kwamba katika mpango wetu kama serikali ya kusaidia sekta ya dairy tuko na pesa karibu shilingi bilioni nane ambayo tumefanya ushirika na serikali ya Poland na kuanzia mwezi wa nane tutatekeleza um, hiyo mpango ambayo itahakikisha ya kwamba wakulima wetu wa dairy ambayo bado wana maziwa yao inaharibika kwa sababu hawana mahali ya kufanya aggregation hawana milk cooling plants tutapata milk cooling plants sita na hamsini ambayo tumeweka mpango ya kuhakikisha kwamba itafika katika kila county tunajaribu kuhakikisha kwamba katika kila ward kutakuwa na milk chilling plant ambayo itasaidia wakulima ili maziwa yao iziharibike wakati wanaendesha biashara yao na wakati wanapanga vile watapata bei ya sawa sawa na vile hiyo maziwa itafanywa aggregation ili tuhakikisha kwamba Kenya kwa sababu vile nilitangaza tunataka kuongeza ile mapato mwaka eh, kila mwaka tunapata karibu 
lita bilioni tano ya maziwa. Mpango yetu ni kuongeza mapato ya maziwa kutoka bilioni tano mpaka bilioni kumi. We want to double our production of milk. Kwa sababu vile niliwaeleza tuko na soko kubwa katika bara letu la Afrika. Maziwa ambayo inakunywa katika bara letu la Afrika inatoka New Zealand, inatoka Australia na sisi tuko hapa karibu. Itakuwa ni makosa makubwa sana kama ndugu zetu wa Afrika watakunywa maziwa kutoka sijui kutoka New Zealand na sisi na New Zealand ni almost 10,000 kilometers na sisi tuko hapa kilomita elfu moja, kilomita ya mia tano. Na niluambia tuanze na soko ya DRC hapa. Tuko na, tuko na soko ya watu wengi. Karibu watu milioni mia moja wako pale. Na tunataka kupeleka maziwa yetu kule. Na tupeleke maziwa yetu sehemu zingine zote. Na katika budget hii, tumeondoa ushuru kwa chakula ya ngombe. Ama chakula ya mifugo. Na tumesema bile bile mambo ya vaccines ambayo tunatumia kwa mifugo yetu tumeweka ama tumeondoa ama tumeweka incentive ya wale ambao wanataka kutengeneza vaccines ambazo tutatumia madawa ambayo tutatumia kwa mifugo yetu pia tumeondoa ushuru katika hii budget ndio bei ya madawa ya, ya mifugo yetu ikuje chini na vile vile tuhakikisha kwamba gharama ya chakula ambayo inachangia sehemu kubwa ya e, matatizo yetu katika sekta ya kuzalisha e, mifugo yetu vile vile tumesema ya kwamba hiyo hiyo e, mambo ya chakula tunaondoa ushuru for all products that are used for animal food na Naamini ya kwamba hiyo mpango itatusaidia kuhakikisha kwamba we are growing that sector. Under a highly collaborative uh, a collaboration, a highly promising cooperation between the county governments, we are setting up aggregation and distribution centers for storage, value addition and marketing of agricultural products. Wacha niseme kwa Kiswahili ndio tuelewane vizuri. Katika budget hii ya mwaka huu tumeweka pesa bilioni ine ya kujenga zile masoko ndogo ndogo tumeweka pesa ingine bilioni tano ambayo tutajengea masoko ya kila county tuwe na county aggregation and industrial park maana yake ni kwamba tunataka wale wanaendesha kilimo ya aina zote katika taifa letu la Kenya tuwe na mahali ambapo wakulima wanaweza kupeleka mazao yao na katika county aggregation and industrial park tutahakikisha kwamba kuna mahali ya storage kuna mahali ya cold room kuna eh, sehemu ambayo itafanyiwa value addition kuna mahali itafanyiwa agro processing na baadaye tunataka private sector wakuje wafanye manufacturing katika kila county aggregation and industrial park ndio wakulima waongeze dhamana ama waongeze value kwa mazao yao ili pesa wanayopata kutoka mazao yao ya kilimo iongezeke na vile vile tupate mazao ambayo tuta export katika sehemu zingine za taifa letu ama za taifa letu na vile vile katika sehemu uh, zingine katika bara letu and outside ili kilimo iweze kuweka pesa kwa mifugo ya wakulima na wananchi wote and therefore tumekubaliana na county government na nyinyi kama cooperative nataka msikize vizuri kwa sababu nyinyi ndio mtatumia hizo facilities tungependa ile soko tunajenga katika kila constituency ama sub county tunataka hiyo soko iwe mahali ambayo nyinyi kama watu mnayoendesha cooperative those markets in every sub county and the county aggregation and industrial park in every county should be managed by cooperatives <laughs> nyinyi ndio mtazisimamia kwa sababu ile biashara inaendelea pale
kama ni ya avocado, kama ni ya chai, kama ni ya kahawa, kama ni ya mchele. Hiyo biashara yote ambayo inaendelea pale ya mazao yenu, nyinyi ndio mtakuwa mstari ya mbele kuhakikisha ya kwamba wale watu ambao wanatusumbua kama brokers na makatel na wale wengine hakuna haja sasa ya kwenda kuwasumbia kuwasumbua wakulima tunawaambia tukutane sokoni ndio tupige bei na nyinyi tukiwa pamoja unajua hawa cartels na brokers wanaenda wanakona mkulima kwa shamba yake akiwa peke yake anapigisha yake Kiswahili mingi o bei imeharibika unajua hii iko namna hii namna hii anachukua mali yako mwisho mkulima ambaye ameangaika miezi sita mwaka moja akichunga mazao yake anapata pesa kidogo kuliko ule broker amekuja pale kwa masaa ama kwa siku mbili ametengeneza pesa nyingi kuliko mkulima so ndio tunasema sasa tutaweka mazao yetu tunajenga tunakamilisha ujenzi wa masoko katika kila sub county na tunakamilisha uh, tumeanza the first 14 counties mtatuona tukitembea huko tukizianzisha zijengwe tunataka in the next one year tuwe na county aggregation and industrial park mahali wakulima wetu watapanga mambo yao na mazao yao hiyo mazao tupate mahali pazuri pa kuhakikisha kwamba kuna storage kama inahitaji cold rooms tuwe na cold rooms sehemu ile alafu baadaye ile inataka kufanywa value addition tufanye value addition ndio tuuze mazao yetu kwa bei ambayo itamfaidi mkulima zaidi ya wale wanaofanya biashara kwa sababu mazao kwanza ni ya mkulima yule ambaye anakuja kufanya biashara pale apate sehemu yake lakini iwe sehemu ndogo kuliko ile mkulima anapata that is our plan ndio tuhakikisha kwamba mkulima anafaidika na jasho yake mahali ameangaika shambani kwa miezi ama miaka apate haki yake and that is the power of aggregation nimeshamwambia eh, waziri ambaye anahusika na mambo ya trade mheshimiwa kuria ya kwamba na tumefanya mkutano na county governments wote na tumekubaliana ya kwamba safari hii mambo itaelekea kwa wakulima na tutahakikisha kwamba tunawasaidia wakulima katika harakati hiyo nimesema vile vile katika sekta yetu ya mambo ya maziwa tunaweka mpango ya eh, milk cooling plants kwa sababu nia yetu is to double the milk production in Kenya so that we can export milk and increase our exports as a percentage of uh, GDP vile vile kwa mambo ya kahawa nilitangaza wakati nilikuwa meru ya kwamba KPCU ambayo ilikuwa na imekuwa na matatizo pale mbeleni sasa tumeweka pesa katika hii budget ya kufanya refurbishment ya kule Meru hapa Sagana na sehemu zile zingine tuhakikishe ya kwamba mambo ya kahawa tuongeze na tulikubaliana kama serikali ya kwamba tunaongeza pesa mkiona katika hii budget tumeweka pesa ya mbolea mbolea ya wakulima wa chai mbolea ya wakulima wa kahawa mbolea ya wakulima wa mahindi ngano mchele na hiyo ingine yote na tumeweka mpango maalum we have registered all farmers 5.1 million farmers are now on our database na tumekubaliana ya kwamba hiyo mpango tutashirikiana na county governments ili mbolea ipatikane mahali karibu na wakulima tunajua ya kwamba wakulima bado wanaenda mbali kidogo kwa sasa katika ile um, masto ya National Cereals and Produce Board we want to take it down so that we can serve farmers better tunataka kuongeza mapato yetu kwa mambo ya kahawa saa hizi mti mmoja inatupatia kilo mbili inchi zingine wanapata karibu kilo saba, kilo nane, kilo kumi. tutawasaidia wakulima wetu wa kahawa tunataka tuwaongezee mbolea ambayo imefanyiwa utafiti ili tuongeze kilo yetu kwa mpango yetu ya mwaka mmoja to 5 kilos we want to increase our Uh, coffee production from currently 51000 metric tons in one year we want to raise that to 80000 metric tons and in five years we want to raise it to 200000 metric tons mimi nawashukuru wakulima wengi nimeona katika sehemu mbalimbali watu wameanza kurudia 
mea wetu wa kahawa and i want to ask uh, the ministry for cooperative and the ministry of agriculture to work together so that farmers have seeds that are certified and we can begin to drive our economy using our coffee as it was in the past and we want to make sure as uh, the deputy president and the minister have said that we tighten the regulation to make sure that the cooperative movement provides leadership provides aggregation so that we can better serve uh, farmers pia nimewaambia in the textile sector we have introduced appropriate incentives to stimulate production of high yielding disease resistant cotton seed varieties as well as expanded cotton growing in semi arid areas the vehicle for implementing these measures is the cooperative cotton ginery whose modernization is a must, is a major strategic investment for us and for the government of Kenya additionally we are in partnership with the county government to provide training and extension services with the objective of improving the quality and productivity in the leather industry through the strategic location of abattoirs we shall be able to ensure the standardization of quality in beef and leather production tena um nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba ufugaji ni sehemu kubwa sana ya uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya Kenya ni inchi namba tatu duniani sio duniani katika bara letu la Afrika we are the third largest uh, holder of livestock in the African continent na ndio mlisikia juzi nikisema katika budget hii tumeweka karibu shilingi bilioni mbili nusu katika sehemu ya leather kuhakikisha ya kwamba ile ngozi yote ambayo saa hizi inaharibika ingine inakuliwa na umbwa ingine inatupwa ingine watu wanatumia kulalia na mambo ingine ambayo namna hiyo sasa tumekubaliana ya kwamba tunaweka pesa katika the whole leather value chain na nimesema Kenya kwa sasa tunaagiza milnae hatuta nje na nimesema ndani ya miaka miwili mitatu ndani ya mwaka mbili tatu tutakuwa tumekamilisha mpango yetu na hatutakuwa tena tunaagiza viatu kutoka nje ama leather products vijana wetu ambao tumewa train katika taifa Tini, na pia hapa naivasha tunaweka leather industry kubwa ambayo itatusaidia hata kuuza leather products katika sehemu zingine za bara letu la Africa we must be deliberate about creating opportunities for our young people and i have said that because currently we are importing leather products in the region of 15 million pairs every year and yet we are the third largest a uh, holder of livestock in our continent it is not correct it is not right that we are continuing to import leather products when our own skins and hides are, are being wasted we are not getting any value out of them tunataka ikifika hapo mbele mkulima akiuza nyama pia analipwa kwa ngozi ile ameuza kwa sababu itaenda katika factory ya leather products tumekubaliana na county governments na mpango hiyo iko tayari let me also say that um, cold rooms tuko na sehemu nyingi ambayo ni wanatuzalishia horticulture wanatuzalishia eh, vyakula mbalimbali mbali, ya fresh produce na tumeweka mpango kamili ambayo tumeanza waziri huyu tumemwambia tumeanza kipipiri ndaragwa oljororo keses timboroa londiani elbagon molo mogotio mahali ambayo tunaanzia the first phase ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna cold room facilities ya wakulima wetu wa mboga na fresh produce we are also investing in the rehabilitation of expansion of farmers markets as i have said progressively 
under the Ministry of uh, Lands and Housing, we are planning for markets across Kenya that are going to help our cooperators to make sure that we are moving in the right direction. Vile vile, mumeona katika mpango yetu ya mawizara, tuko na wizara ambaye na husika na PS ambaye na husika na mambo ya blue economy kwa sababu ni ya muhimu. Katika ziwa Victoria na katika ocean yetu, bahari yetu ya kule eh, Indian Ocean, pia tumeweka mpango kamili. Tunakamilisha the liwatoni, tumeweka pale karibu shilingi bilioni moja katika budget hii, kuhakikisha kwamba tunakamilisha hiyo soko imejengwa siku nyingi na processing ya fish na fish products, tuhakikisha ya kwamba zaidi ya bilioni miyamoja ishirini ya blue economy resources, ambayo inakuwa harvested na watu ambao hatuwajui ni nani sasa tutakuwa zinatum, tunazitumia ama tunazi harvest kama Republic of Kenya because that potential belongs to the people of Kenya vile vile our interventions extend further afield to the blue economy as i have mentioned especially fishing cooperatives in Nyanza and Coast region in order to enable them acquire cold rooms and self and uh, fish processing uh, products. In the same vein, mining cooperatives in Kwale, Taita Taveta, Bungoma, Migori, Homa Bay, and Kakamega are earmarked for dedicated investment aimed at revitalizing the artisanal mining value chain. Savings and credit cooperatives continue to play a major role in deepening the housing market through personal loans as well as housing development loans. Through partnership with the Kenya Mortgage Finance Company, circles are emerging as pioneers in the affordable housing sector. Nyinyi sasa ambao mumekuwa mukisaidia na mimi nataka ni wapongeze. Many cooperatives have participated in assisting Kenyans to own houses. Mumechangia sehemu kubwa. Wakati serikali hatukukua na mpango kamili ya housing cooperative movement, Fill the gap. Mumesaidia wa, uh, wa Kenya wengi katika mpango ya uh, ku, uh, ku, uh, kuwa na manyumba ya kuishi. Lakini sasa tutasaidia na na nyinyi. Tutaweka mpango kamili. Nyinyi mumekua mukinunua shamba ya kujenga manyumba. Sisi kama serikali sasa tumesema tutatoa ardhi bila ya malipo. Vile vile mumekua mukiweka pesa nyingi kuweka services, barabara, sewage, kuleta maji, kuleta steamer. Sasa hiyo kazi itakuwa inafanyo na serikali. Sasa tumeraizisha kazi yenu kama cooperative movement. Kazi yenu sasa ni kupatia yule eh, cooperative wenu loan peke yake. Nyumba tutajenga na itakuwa bei ya chini. Sasa ile garama mulikuwa ni nalipa kujuu, sasa itakuwa chini. Sasa kazi yenu. Ni kupatia hawa pesa, wana own nyumba, wana songa mbele. Sijui kama tunayelewana? Tuko pamoja? Sasa hiyo mzigo mmekua mkibeba sana, tutawasaidia. <coughs> Without any doubt whatsoever, our cooperative movement has already contributed immensely to the national socio-economic development and is poised to escalate this contribution to an exponentially transformational scale. For this reason, the government is determined to take appropriate measures to ensure full implementation of sessional paper number four of year 2020 on national cooperative policy, which recognizes and embraces the fundamental mandate of promoting cooperatives for socioeconomic transformation. The new policy measures will include the establishment of a central liquidity facility and shared services platform which will enhance efficiency and quality of SACOS services while reducing operational risks encountered by SACOS. Nasema hivi, muliona jana. Jana, muliona ya kwamba tuko na mpango ambayo niliwaahidi wa Kenya. Ya kwamba, tutaweka services yote ama huduma zote za serikali, tutaweka katika digital platform. Ili mkenya, anaweza eh, kuinteract na serikali ya Kenya unaweza eh, kupata services za serikali katika mtandao bila ya kwenda katika ofisi ya serikali 
na vile vile tutasaidiana na nyinyi kuwasaidia na teknolojia kuwasaidia na digital platform ambayo itawasaidia kwa mambo ya reconciliation ili tuhakikisha kwamba sekta hii inatumia teknolojia kuhakikisha kwamba pesa zenu ziko katika hali mzuri na sio lazima uende katika maofisi nyingi ubebana na makaratasi nyingi na kufanya yale mambo mengi ambayo saa zingine inachukua ina muda mrefu sasa tutawasaidia na mpango wa teknolojia and we are going to work with the cooperatives to make sure that we build their capacity we make sure that governance is in the right uh, frame and to ensure that we leverage on technology to make cooperatives efficient and effective and they can better serve the cooperators better so tutashirikiana katika hiyo mpango na waziri work with your colleagues in the ministry of ICT so that we can assist the cooperative movement to make sure that they leverage on technology to offer and make their services much more efficient and much more effective um, the changes also will facilitate short term inter circle borrowing and similarly facilitate access to the national payment uh, system thereby providing effective solutions to liquidity challenges enhancing financial stability in the sector and improving the general governance of that sector mimi nataka mjue hivi niwapatie story kidogo pale nakuru kampuni ambayo tulipatia kandarasi ya kujenga dam na hiyo dam ni ya shilingi bilioni 32 hiyo kampuni ilikuwa ni cooperative kama hii zetu cooperative ya kule eh, Italy so it is possible to grow a cooperative small as it may be into a giant multinational organization those possibilities exist so tunataka cooperative zenu muanze kujua ya kwamba cooperative inaweza kukua mpaka ikakuwa kampuni ya kimataifa nimewaeleza ile kampuni ambayo tulipatia kutujengea dam ya Itare ni cooperative kama hii zenu hapa na tulipatia kandarasi ya shilingi bilioni 32 kutengeneza dam sasa nyinyi ambao mko katika hiyo sekta mjue ya kwamba cooperatives can be huge corporate institutions that can be able to do business not just in Kenya but globally as well I take this opportunity to commend and thank the cooperative movement for its enthusiastic response to the government's tree planting and forest restoration program through its cooperative for climate action rallying call si tumekubaliana jameni ya kwamba sisi wote tupande miti tumekubaliana kama taifa ya kwamba tunapanda miti bilion 15 na kupanda miti hata mbali na matatizo ya climate change tuko nayo ni kazi ya muhimu mimi nataka niwapatie heads up mjue ya kwamba hapa mbele miaka michache inayokuja utakuwa unalipwa kwa kuwa na miti katika shamba yako so anzeni kujipanga mimi nimejipanga tayari napanda miti na sitaki mseme sikuwaambia kila mtu aanze aanze kupanda miti kwa sababu miti itaku, ni biashara ya kesho nyinyi mnanielewa na sio ya kwamba ati utauza miti hapana utalipwa tu kwa kuwa, kwa kuwa na miti katika shamba yako <coughs> Sijui kama tunaelewana. So, hii mpango tupande miti. Kila mtu apande miti kwake. Sababu ya sisi kusema tunapanda miti ni kwa sababu dunia mzima tuko na changamoto kubwa ya kubadilika kwa mazingira. Nimekuwa wiki hii ama wiki iliyopita nilikuwa mkutano mkubwa wa kimataifa kule Paris kule eh, Ufaransa na mkutano huo ni mkutano unaojadili mambo ya climate change na ndio mimi nataka niwaeleze wa Kenya tupande miti kwa sababu miti ni biashara vile vile hapa mbele nawaambia tena hapa mbele 
watu watakuwa wanalipwa pesa kwa kuwa na miti katika shamba zao mimi na kupanda mimi siku ile nitakuwa nalipwa pesa msiseme ya kwamba sikuwaambia hata na nyinyi mjipange <laughs> tunaelewana jameni so tushughulike mkulima wale watu wengine wote na tumeweka mpango maalum kama serikali jana tulikuwa tunajadiliana na wizara ambayo inahusika mambo ya seedlings tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba kuna miche ya miti ya kutosha na tumesema kupanda miti tutapanda miti ya aina zote lakini sana ama zaidi tutapanda miti ya matunda ili tuwe na miti na vile vile tunaweza kupata faida ya kuwa na matunda kama ni avocado kama ni oranges kama ni zile miti zote ambazo ziko na matunda na mimi nataka niwashukuru cooperative movement kwa kukubali ya kwamba sote tunaweza kuchangia itatusaidia kupanda miti itatusaidia katika mpango wa kubadilisha mazingira yetu hii eh, kukosekana kwa mvua inachangiwa mahali kubwa na kuharibika kwa mazingira and the way to restore our um, environment is to ensure that we plant trees amongst other things finally i am so proud of the role played by our cooperative movement in driving national economic transformation its achievement so far and its level of dedication to the inclusion and empowerment of cooperatives throughout the country gives us reason to be confident that together we are marching steadily along the path of, towards inclusive growth shared prosperity and sustainable development nawashukuru sana kwa kazi mnayofanya najua kuongoza cooperative sio kazi rahisi tumewaeleza hapa tutawasaidia kama serikali to build capacity to train leaders sa zingine viongozi wengine wanafanya makosa sio kwa kupenda ni kwa kukosa kuelewa so tutawasaidia kama serikali kuhakikisha kwamba we build the capacity of members of cooperatives of leaders in the cooperative movement of managers in the cooperative movement so that we can have the chance to make sure that our cooperative movement that is so progressive that is so successful continue to carry the high flag that we that they carry for us in our continent and globally so tutasaidiana na nyinyi and that is the reason why uh, we have a ministry of cooperative to assist the cooperative movement build their capacity in leadership assist them with policy formulation that will support this uh, movement and also ensure that the cooperatives and what they do and the base which they operate from whether it is in the uh, economic sector or it is in the um, productive sector whether it is uh, tea coffee uh, leather uh, dairy zote in, uh, because when the sectors are doing well the cooperatives will do well as well i therefore wish you all success in your noble undertakings i wish you god's blessings as you continue with what you're doing na nawatakia heri wakati mtarudi nyumbani pelekeni salamu zetu nyingi tunawatakia heri na baraka ya mungu asanteni sana <laughs>